great observatory that was an infrared telescope was Spitzer. Mm -hmm. uh, so Spitzer was a NASA mission uh, that operated from 2003 to 2019, mm -hmm. uh, and it had infrared capabilities um, and was able to see glimpses of this again, give us hints about what was there and, and answer many interesting questions, but mm -hmm. leave us wanting more. And, and Webb is giving us more. And, you know, obviously yeah. we've been celebrating so far. I see that the, our two other guests are in agreement with you. Not uh, where with the James Webb, where did we will see people from all over the world um, coming in um, into uh, and getting, you know, getting to do science with this wonderful telescope in a way that that has not have happened before. Mm -hmm. So I think there is, you know, there is a lot of things to look forward to. No, here. most most certainly, and among them, um, as much as I want to look forward, and we should, and there is so much to look forward to. I want to ask you just for a little bit of context, Renee. Um, you know, Hubble versus Webb, if you will. Uh, the last time NASA launched an observatory of such kind of importance and significance, it was really deemed a disaster, if I'm not mistaken, in 1990. Some, uh, you know, astronomers like Sandra Faber, others saying it was an absolute kind of catastrophe. Why is that? And I don't want to focus too much, but, but how would you compare this moment? Well, I, uh, Hubble, the, 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 what you're, you're referring to is when Hubble was launched, uh, he, he had some eyesight problem. And uh, we, that was a, a, an issue, a, a mistake made, which uh, these things are not easy to do, right? Of course. Uh, but of course, we, we, we learned from, from but, but it was fixed, you know, because Hubble was clo is, is close to the, the Earth orbit, so we could send the shuttle and change the instrument to crack its eyesight. And then Hubble came back with his good eyesight, and you know it, it truly revolutionized astronomy. Now.